The 10 Best Films of Lucio Fulci According to the Internet Lucio Fulci, often referred to as the godfather of gore, has left an indelible mark on the horror genre. His films are renowned for their graphic violence, surreal imagery, and atmospheric tension. While full-size work spans various genres, his horror films have garnered a cult following. Here are the 10 best Lucio full-size films according to popular internet consensus, showcasing the breadth and impact of his directorial prowess. 1. The Beyond, 1981 Often hailed as full-size magnum opus, The Beyond is a nightmarish blend of supernatural horror and gore. The film follows a woman who inherits a Louisiana hotel only to discover it's built over one of the seven gateways to hell. With its haunting score, surreal narrative, and iconic death scenes, The Beyond remains a quintessential full-size experience. 2. Zombie 1979 Zombie, also known as Zombie 2, is full-size notorious entry into the zombie genre, initially marketed as a sequel to George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead. The film features some of full-size most memorable scenes, including the infamous zombie versus shark battle and the gruesome eye-gouging sequence. Its atmospheric settings and relentless pacing make it a staple in zombie cinema. 3. City of the Living Dead, 1980 Part of full-size unofficial Gates of Hell trilogy, City of the Living Dead follows a journalist and a psychic as they race to close a portal to hell opened by a priest's suicide. The film is celebrated for its eerie atmosphere, shocking visuals, and the chilling scene of a woman vomiting her own intestines. Full-size masterful use of suspense and gore is on full display here. Four, don't Torture a Duckling, 1972. Diverging from his more supernatural fare, Don't Torture a Duckling is a giallo film set in a rural Italian village. The film explores themes of superstition, religious fervor, and societal corruption as it follows a reporter investigating a series of child murders. Its social commentary, combined with full-size trademark violence, makes it one of his most compelling works. Five. The House by the Cemetery, 1981. The final installment in the Gates of Hell trilogy, The House by the Cemetery, tells the story of a family that moves into a house with a dark history. The film's unsettling atmosphere, combined with graphic violence and a haunting score, creates a deeply disturbing viewing experience. The mysterious Dr. Freudstein and the chilling basement scenes are highlights. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell. 6. The New York Ripper, 1982 One of full size most controversial films, The New York Ripper is a brutal slasher that follows a detective hunting a sadistic killer in New York City. The film is notorious for its graphic violence and misogynistic overtones, drawing both acclaim and criticism. Despite its polarizing reception, it remains a significant entry in full-size filmography for its raw intensity. 7. A Lizard in a Woman's Skin, 1971 A Lizard in a Woman's Skin is a psychedelic giallo thriller that delves into the blurred lines between dreams and reality. The film follows a woman who dreams of committing murder, only to become a suspect when the crime occurs. Full-size use of surreal imagery Experimental techniques and Ennio Morricone's score make it a standout in his early career. 8. The Psychic, 1977 Also known as Seven Notes in Black, The Psychic is a supernatural thriller that combines elements of giallo and psychological horror. The story revolves around a woman who experiences visions of a murder and uncovers dark secrets in her husband's past. Full-size, skillful storytelling and suspenseful pacing elevate this film, making it a hidden gem. 9. Contraband, 1980 Branching into the crime thriller genre, Contraband, also known as The Smuggler, is a gritty tale of violence and revenge set in the Naples underworld. The film follows a smuggler who takes on a rival gang after his brother is murdered. 
While less known than full-size horror films, Contraband showcases his ability to craft intense and action-packed narratives. 10. Cat in the Brain, 1990. Cat in the Brain, also known as Nightmare Concert, is a meta-horror film where Fulsai plays himself, a director haunted by visions of murder scenes from his films. This self-reflexive piece blurs the line between fiction and reality, serving as both a critique and celebration of Fulsai's career. Its experimental nature and psychological depth make it a unique entry in his oeuvre. Lucio Fulsai's films continue to captivate and horrify audiences worldwide. His unique vision, characterized by graphic violence, surreal narratives, and atmospheric tension, has cemented his status as a horror maestro. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to his work, these 10 films offer a comprehensive look at Fulsai's enduring legacy in the world of cinema. Who's your daddy?